So hello friends welcome back to another video in this video we are going to talk about Arbitrum token network how to set up on MetaMask Arbitrum network so let's see so dollar and uh, this is the uh, link actually so I will just copy and I will uh, paste it to my browser and now it will redirect to the Arbitrum network and it will automatically connect to the metamask because you must have metamask extension and you can do it on uh, desktop or your uh, laptop only you cannot do it on uh, mobile phones so here i have to click and i have to click on connect so automatically it will uh, connect so it is taking some time so you see it is connecting now it will uh, redirect me to the uh, Arbitrum uh, website so Arbitrum token bridge you can see on the screen so here you will find two options uh, layer 1 and layer 2 so here Arbitrum token bridge and this is the contact address actually where you need to send some fund for the network uh, fee so we must have ethereum so if you have ethereum available in any uh, other wallet you have to transfer it to in this wallet so I will just copy it and I will try to get some uh, fund here so that I can do transactions so let me to go to my another wallet so that I can transfer some fund here so that we can proceed the transaction and we can set up a uh, wallet on MetaMask and I will do some transactions also I will show you that how it works So as you can see this is layer 1 and this is layer 2 so once we transfer fund it will pop up here in layer 1 so once we receive fund on layer 1 then we have to transfer it to layer 2 so I am just uh, still waiting it is taking some time so you can see still it is showing L0 so once fund will receive here then automatically it will show the balance so you see now it is pop up. Uh, I have 0.022 Ethereum. This is actually for the trading purpose. I have transferred some small uh, uh, fund. Uh, so, so what I will do? I will transfer my layer one to layer two. Uh, the whatever fund, but make sure you should transfer only that much amount, uh, excluding your uh, network charges. Because if you uh, put it max, then it will uh, not be possible to transfer. So make sure. The total uh, you don't transfer the total value at least reduce some amount so that it is it should be available for some network charges so let me to proceed and let's see how it works so here metamask is uh, opening oh it's uh, showing some insufficient fund that means I have to reduce some quantity so let me try again because it is showing here the insufficient fund that means my transaction code yeah now it is okay so now I will confirm so it will take some time to confirm it sometimes it takes uh, you know 10 minutes to get transfer from one uh, layer to layer 2 so we have to wait for that so still I'm waiting so once it will uh, transfer then we have to connect to the uh, arbitrum so we can directly connect from the uh, top you can see there is connected to mainnet so we have to connect it to uh, arbitrum so let us the fund uh, sh should transfer first then we will do all these activities so you can see there is a transaction still pending and it is, it is buffering uh, you can see on the screen so once the, once the transaction is completed then automatically the value will show in layer 2 so then we have to connect to the arbitrum and will directly it will go to the metamask and then we can do transactions on any other tab so let's wait for a few minutes yeah now you see it is uh, showing in layer 2 now the value has been uh, received that value which I have uh, transferred from layer 1 to layer 2 now it is showing 
so what I will do you can see the transaction is completed so now I'll go to uh, MetaMask I have to change you see now the value is showing only 0.0014 for Ethereum in my main uh, Ethereum wallet so we have to connect it to the Arbitrum so I will just connect click here and you see now it is redirecting it to the MetaMask and I have to click on the Ethereum mainnet and I go to select if, if if it is first time then we have to connect it from there so let me do connect here yeah here it will connect and now it will redirect me to MetaMask again and now see this is the uh, all you know details available here so chain ID network network name so everything is automatically uh, pop up there so what I have, we have to do we have to just uh, approve it so once we approve automatically it will redirect to the arbitrum network and we need to switch network click on switch network so automatically from ethereum minute to it will go to arbitrum network so you can see on the screen now it is redirecting me so it is take yeah so now it is see connected to arbitrum arb1 as you can see on the screen so we are connected now now what we have to do now we will do the transactions so let's see how we work so for that i have to go on any uh, tab uh, it may be let's go to the uniswap and i will do some transactions and i will swap it and i will show you how it works so now i go to coindesk coin gecko and i'll directly go to uniswap and click on that and let it to open first then go to uniswap org i'm uh, doing all these activities just to show you so that if you don't have the link directly you can go through this also so now uniswap dot org is opening so i have to click on launch app so that i can show you how it works if you have link now if you have a bookmark the link of uniswap you can directly go from there also there is no nothing to worry so this is the same process as you do uh, usually so it is taking some time actually my internet connection is a little slow today weather is bad it is raining outside so that's why there is some in intermittent sync coming sometimes connecting disconnecting this is the issue so now you can see now here i have to connect my wallet so once i collect connect it it will automatically connect it to arbitrum network so click on metamask because i have metamask here so we have to click on next and connect it is connecting now yeah you see on the top uniswap on arbitrum that means we are it is uniswap but we are on arbitrum chain so what do we have to do we have to do the transaction here so i will select a coin which is less in value so let me do check some options what I, what i can check so here let me go through uh, i think i should go for gmx let me check so if i put one gmx uh, let me see uh, whether i have enough value to buy it or not so if i put one that means oh it is showing insufficient value so now i have to uh, choose some another one so what i can do i will choose something which is less than one dollar cost so i will go for uh, grt i think grt or grt is better so crv is still no it's better to go for grd grd means graph because i have i'm holding some graph as so it will be better for me to go through the photo graph uh, where is this i'm scrolling it down yeah this is grd so now i will put some uh, quantity i will put 21 let me see yeah 
yeah it is it, it is good enough yeah let me to swap it so once i click on swap it will start the transaction and i have to confirm on the wallet so it is unexpected there sometimes it happens but no I'll, I'll, let me try again because once you connect when you do the transaction first time sometimes it gives some errors so nothing to worry try again and it will automatically be swapped so let me do go through so again i will click on swap yeah it is taking some time as i told you i have some internet connection issues so now it is asking to approve the transaction so let me to confirm it first yeah so now transaction 